Two States by Chetan Bhagat Two States is a novel by Indian author Chetan Bhagat, first published in 2009. The story revolves around two characters, Krish Malhotra and Ananya Swaminathan, who come from two different cultures and regions of India but fall in love with each other. The novel explores themes of love, family values, cultural differences, and societal expectations. Krish Malhotra, a Punjabi boy from Delhi, is pursuing his MBA from the Indian Institute of Management, UM, Ahmedabad. He is an ambitious and intelligent student, but also a bit of a loner who doesn't have many friends. One day, he meets Ananya Swaminathan, a Tamilian girl from Chennai who is also studying at Ahmedabad. She is outgoing, confident, and strikes a chord with Krish. They become friends and start hanging out together. As they spend more time together, Krish and Ananya start to develop feelings for each other. However, they both know that their families would never accept their relationship due to cultural and regional differences. Krish's family is conservative, and his mother has already picked out a suitable bride for him. Ananya's family is equally traditional, and her parents expect her to marry a Tamil Brahmin boy. Krish and Ananya try to convince their families to accept their relationship but their efforts fail. Krish's mother is against the idea of him marrying a girl from a different culture and region, while Ananya's father is furious at her decision to marry a North Indian boy. The situation becomes more complicated when Krish's mother tries to fix his marriage with another girl, and Ananya's parents begin to pressure her to choose a Tamilian boy as her life partner. Krish and Ananya then decide to elope and get married in secret. They plan a small wedding ceremony with their close friends, but their families find out about their plans and this creates even more conflict between them. Both families refuse to attend the wedding, which leaves Krish and Ananya to get married alone. After the wedding, Krish and Ananya try to build a life together, but their families continue to be a source of tension and conflict. Krish's mother refuses to accept Ananya and makes several attempts to break them apart. Ananya's parents also refuse to acknowledge their marriage and cut her off from the family. Despite the challenges, Krish and Ananya remain committed to each other and try to make their relationship work. They move to Chennai and start a new life together. However, they face several obstacles in their new city as well. Krish struggles to adapt to the Tamilian way of life, and Ananya's family and community continue to ostracize her for marrying a North Indian boy. Over time, both families realize the error of their ways and come around to accepting Krish and Ananya's relationship. Krish's mother finally accepts Ananya as her daughter-in-law and welcomes her into the family. Ananya's father also reconciles with her and Krish and gives them his blessings. In the end, Krish and Ananya are able to build a happy life together, despite the challenges they faced. The story is a reflection of the changing attitudes towards intercultural marriages in India and the struggles that young couples face when trying to break away from traditional family expectations. The novel has been adapted into a Bollywood movie as well. The End Thank you. Please share, subscribe, and hit the like button.